Former Hawkeye Brett Bielema will not coach in Iowa City Saturday. Illinois says Bielema has a breakthrough case of COVID-19. For more on Iowa's final home game, we bring in John Sears. With two games left in the regular season, Iowa is still tied atop the Big Ten West with Wisconsin, both five and two. Hawkeyes have to win out and hope for a Badger loss to have any chance of playing for a Big Ten title. It starts Saturday against Illinois. The Illini may only be four and six, but they have wins over Nebraska, Minnesota, and Penn State. Uh, there are no easy games, especially at, at this level. Um, so we're just going to go in the same mindset. You know, we're here to win a game, regardless of the record. Obviously, they've shown that they win big games, um, you know, so we're not really looking at the record because we know they're definitely capable. I definitely think, you know, compared to some other teams who are maybe out of the hunt, um, you know, at that point, you know, they're playing for only just those seniors who have a few games left. Now, you know, we're playing for the seniors and we're also playing for a chance to reach one of our goals, which is, you know, the Big Ten Championship. We have a chance to be a, a memorable Iowa football team because there's been some great football teams here at Iowa. And, and I think that drives us as well, especially the in-state kids, too. We, we, we'd love to be, you know, remembered as, you know, um, one of KF's, you know, best teams. So um, that's, that's definitely on our, our minds as well. Iowa has beaten Illinois seven straight times. In fact, the last time the Hawkeyes lost to the Illini inside Kinnick Stadium, I was a senior in high school, 1999. In Iowa City, John Sears, WHO 13 Sports. Illini and Hawkeyes at the rare kick time of 1 p.m. Texas Tech kicked away whatever remained of Iowa State's Big 12 championship hopes. But as Mark Freund reports, Matt Campbell says that was never his goal. No matter how united a front, sometimes people can interpret the big picture in slightly different ways. That's human nature. Iowa State players acknowledge that this season has brought some disappointments. Matt Campbell doesn't necessarily shy away from that, but on the topic of goals, Campbell shows his commitment to his process. How do you as a coach view goals? Because at the beginning of the season, you, your players, the goal was Big 12 championship. Oh, not me. That was never my goal. Okay. My goal has always been one thing, and that's to become the best version of ourselves we can become. So you've never heard me say that word once. Um, you've only heard me talk about becoming the best version of yourself you can be. And really, my challenge for this year's team was to become the greatest together team in the history of Iowa State football. And so far, all of our goals are still intact from a Coach Campbell standpoint. Not stupid, like the season's not gone the way everyone thought it hasn't been perfect, but the one thing I can take pride in, I know my fellow classmates can, is we did everything in our power to leave this place better than we found it. And so while it's not perfect, there still is beauty in the struggle. Everyone's disappointed. Yeah, you can be mad, you can be pissed off about it, but you gotta use that in a good way. You can't slip back and be mad at yourself because then you won't play very well at all. Sitting at six and four is not something very many expected for the Cyclones heading into the Oklahoma game, but that's the reality. The good news is that Iowa State has played the Sooners really tough in Norman recently, but the bad news is that ISU has struggled on the road this season. We'll see if either trend gets bucked on Saturday. At Jack Trice Stadium, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports. Cyclones take on the Sooners Saturday morning. Oklahoma also coming off a defeat and I think among the things there that uh, really hit me hard is that it's Iowa's final home game. Yeah. Yes. This season that just kind of flew by. Right.